Hey Harmonizers, welcome to our next demo, which is with a mini mule. He is so ridiculously cute. And we are doing some trick training and training for the movie. So for those of you guys that don't know, my horses have appeared in multiple different movies, including Autumn Stables and Farmer of the Bell, Unbridled. They've had to do quite a few Liberty scenes and some really interesting things. And so this was a really fun demo. I'm working with a mini mule who has not done any film work yet. He's done some birthday parties parties and some fun things. And so interestingly enough, he's in the ring with um, Joe right now while his owner was putting a second horse away. Originally, we were going to use a second horse along with this horse in the um, or mini mule, I guess you could say, not horse in the round pen. But the horse was really starting to call and kind of be a little bit upset before we were even in the arena. So I decided, you know what, we only have an hour and it's a really small space. This is not really the time to be focused on a horse that's a little bit anxious. Let's go put that other horse in the trailer. They had just arrived for the day, and we'll just play with the mini mule, which was the right call because he was a lot of fun, super cute, and he's got some really fun little tricks. And I wanted to show people how to have fun with tricks, how to do them respectfully and safely, talk about positive reinforcement, creating yes horse, which means conditioning your horse to have a yes response without creating a total cookie monster, still having a polite horse. That's always a big one that people always ask about. And if you want to learn more about that stuff, I recommend checking out our website, harmonyhorsemanship.com. And we do have a create a yes horse mini course that you can do that goes into more detail about all of those things. And then the fun part was kind of sharing some of the stories from the different movie scenes that I've done and how we can get a horse to a place of these fun tricks and then turn it into movie worthy or on set worthy behavior. And for the, um, the sit here and the lay down, I've had horses that have had to lay down on film. Uh, I had one horse that had to pretend that it was hit by a car and had to lay down. And they actually had to lay down for a significant period of time. And so one of the things that we worked on with him was getting his lay down a little bit longer. Here's a little look at his cute, adorable rear. And one of the ways that I've had to do rear on set before was a uh, we were pretending it was a storm. And so the horse was inside a stall and I'm actually hiding behind a stall wall, cueing the horse to rear inside the stall. It had very high ceiling, so no risk to the horse. And the horse had to basically act like they were upset. And so that's why I was cueing the rear. And another one was a recent commercial we did. It was this um, kind of fantasy scene, I guess a dream scene or something like that. And so it's this knight in full armor that um, the person's sitting on Alicia and I'm cueing the rear from the ground and they're on the horse riding and it's like a, like a charge kind of rear power night scene, I guess you could call it. And with my rear, I always teach my rear from the ground, very much like what um, Suzanne's doing here with Twix. And when you want to start to get this to be on set worthy or movie worthy is you need to be able to do it from a distance from your horse. So from um, the commercial that I did with Alicia, I had to be probably about 20 to 30 feet away from her to give the cue for the rear. And when I did the scene in the stall, I could actually be, I was because I was hiding behind a stall wall, I was probably within about 10 feet of Dreamer for that scene. So if you need to be directly with your horse or at your horse, that wouldn't work for on set because they wouldn't be able to kind of work around you. So you need to start to build up that distance. So that's what we're working on here with Twix is giving that cue. That was a pretty good one there a little bit further away. And then if he gets confused, simply moving closer to him to clarify what he's supposed to do. And so here you can see she's trying to get the energy up and then trying to get that rear again from a little bit further away. And then she goes in closer to give that cue to clarify for him what he's supposed to do. Now, of course, I always go through the safety part of you want to make sure you've taught your horse a lot of other things before you get to a rear because you don't want your horse to default to a rear. You want to make sure they know lots of other things and are very respectful and easy to handle. As you can see, Twix does know lots of other things, including lay down. And one of the things for a lay down scene is um, you want to be able to hold it a little bit longer. So this was one thing we were working on here with Twix was getting his lay down longer because he tends to lay down and go right into the sit and trying to get him to stay down for a much longer period of time. And so the way we're doing that is by rewarding him with um, some cookies as he's laying down and then he still gets rewarded for sitting up and going to his sit and he gets to do that as well, but trying to hold him in that 
lay down longer, not by physically holding him, but by mentally causing him to want to be there by giving him the rewards. Now, this footing was a little bit tricky because it's kind of a like a limestone. It's very kind of heavy, almost a little bit wet, probably because they don't want it getting really dusty in there since this is uh, located right kind of within the shopping expo area. So it's a very busy, high traffic area um, in, indoors. So it's not like one of the other riding arenas. It's really kind of a neat spot to do a demo, but it's not the greatest footing for laying down in. You really want to do that in nice soft sand. And then here was another one we were working on, which is trying to send him to a mark. So in this case, we're using a mounting little mounting block as a pedestal to train him to go to somewhere. And this is something that you can do to help a horse have a target of where to go. So you can use this as part of, let's say a Liberty routine or a freestyle. If you want to send your horse to a particular destination, this can be how they know where to go to, but you can also use it on a movie set to be able to show the horse where they're supposed to end up and where they're supposed to go. And there's been lots of cases where I've had to do scenes with horses where it looks like they're just running around in a field, but really we have trained them on a particular mark of where they're supposed to go. And that helps make sure that um, they're set up for the camera angles and everything else. So they want the horses on a particular path of where they're supposed to go. And so it looks very natural if you watch the films and you see these pieces of the horses moving around, but really it's actually carefully trained behaviors to cause them to go where you want them to go. So that way you can get those angles and those camera shots that you're looking for. So you can see as he progressed, he started to do a lot better and he's going there without Suzanne leading him all the way there. And one of the tricks there, or the tips is to go to the horse and give them the cookie while they're at the mark rather than having them come to you afterwards. And it just kind of reinforces where they're supposed to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching Twix. He is definitely super cute. Remember to check out our website, harmonyhorsemanship.com for more info about all this.